Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today on the channel, we're gonna talk about one of the main things you need to sustain life after a grid down event, and I'm not talking about beans, bullets, and band-aids. Now, most people think they're gonna go out in a blaze of glory fighting off bands of marauders. That's how we all wanna die. Unfortunately, most of our deaths aren't gonna be as exciting. Most of us are gonna die from exposure to the elements, starvation, lack of food, lack of nutrients, we're gonna get in an accident, we're going to get an infection, and that infection is gonna kill us, or one of the main contributors to post-collapse mortality is going to be waterborne pathogens. Now there are plenty of ways to make your water safe to drink. In fact, we've done a video on it that you can go and watch here. You can boil it, you can filter it, you can use solar disinfection, you can use ultraviolet light, chemical treatment, bleach, calcium hypochlorite, distillation, reverse osmosis, the list goes on. There's a myriad ways. However, one of these ways is the simplest and that's with gravity filtration. It's one of the best ways to filter water. It's one of the most practical and it's why it's most widely used in millions of households around the world. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, over the years, I've probably reviewed a dozen different systems that you can use to purify water from ones that are military grade, that are meant to be used out in the field. A lot of these are pump-based systems, Swiss-based systems, compact hollow fiber filters, chemical disinfection, and good old calcium hypochlorite. If you wanna filter enough water in the apocalypse to feed a whole division of troops, that's what you need. But today we're talking about something far more practical. A new company has hit the scene and I think this is an absolute game changer for the industry. So let's talk about it. Now I wanna say from the get-go, this is not a sponsored video. We are a dealer of the Pro One products but they did not have anything to do with this video. This is something I decided to do of my own volition. Now, the reason why we went with the Pro One company is because they are NSF and ANSI certified. What that means is that the National Sanitation Foundation and the American National Standards Institute have certified these products. They've been independently lab tested for up to 200 different types of contaminants, which is not something that can be said about all companies, unfortunately. This is a complete PDF of all of the contaminants which are taken out by these water filters. Everything from mercury to fluoride, bacterias to viruses, anything and everything, these things will filter out. Now recently there was a bit of a controversy with the Berkey company. We used to be a Berkey dealer. Unfortunately, they got themselves into some hot water with the government. Berkey has been a renowned household name in the water filtration industry for decades. They're still contesting this. They're fighting it in court. I think Berkey is still a great company, but they got a few things to take care of before we can do business with them again. So we figure for the time being, we're gonna go with a brand that has all the certifications, that checks all the boxes, that is well-priced, it's affordable, and a lot of these filters will be compatible with other systems. The Pro One comes in a variety of different systems. There's the Scout, which is a portable backpacker version. There's a water pitcher version that you can put in your fridge. And there's a couple countertop gravity filter systems that they have as well. So across those, you can utilize a variety of different filters. Depending on the size of the filter, that's how many gallons of water you're gonna get out of it. So a smaller filter like this might only get around seven to 800 gallons of filtration. Moving up, you might get more like 1,200 gallons. Now, a lot of companies tend to overpromise in terms of the amount of gallons. There's a lot of people who seriously think they're gonna get a million gallons out of their portable $20 Sawyer water filtration system. I regret to inform you that I highly doubt that that has been tested to a million gallons. And if it is, it's in ideal conditions. Chances are certain components of it are going to fail long before that. 1200 gallons is still a lot of water. It's more than enough for six months to a year of drinking. That's a realistic estimate of safe, quality filtered water. In my experience doing these gear reviews, I'd rather have a company that under promises 
and over delivers versus over promising and under delivering. This tends to be the case with a lot of companies that make grandiose claims. One of the great things about these filters is that they take out all the contaminants but they don't demineralize it. It's a smart filter. Vitamins, minerals, things like this, unless you're a prepper, of course, you've already stocked up on this stuff, but you're not gonna have to supplement with those things because this is not gonna demineralize the water. That is very important. So all of this is confirmed in the Envirotech PDF test results, where basically this filter is filtering out 99.9% .9 of almost everything. Other systems require a separate fluoride filter. These don't require that, so these have that built in. So the filter design itself is comprised of an infused bacteriostatic outer ceramic shell and a proprietary carbon-based granular media that you can hear inside. You can get it in a variety of different sizes. Depending on the unit, it's gonna specify on the website what filter is compatible with what unit. So just make sure that you pay attention to that. The most popular of all of the Pro One systems is going to be the big or the travel version. That's the stainless steel countertop version. Next is probably gonna be the Scout version. This is backpackable, okay? And then next is gonna be this one, but I actually think this is probably one of the best things, the most cost-effective water filter systems that's on the market today. This is basically like your Brita, but it filters out viruses and bacteria as well. That's something that a Brita can't do. There's also a bunch of other safeguards. You know, the Brita, you tend to get the filter mixing in and you get those little black particles in the water and so there's a risk of cross-contamination. You don't have that risk in this unit. You put it in the fridge, you forget about it. It takes away all your contaminants. Theoretically, you could pour puddle water in here and it is gonna take out everything. I would not recommend doing that because that's going to shorten the life of your filter. If you can pre-filter the water, that is going to save your filter. And that is the case for any filtration system. If you're trying to filter sandy water, it's gonna clog your filter and the flow rate is gonna to slow to a crawl. So it's very important that you pre-filter any water. It's gonna take out that particulate matter that's gonna clog the filter and slow the flow rate. This is really practical because it doesn't take counter space. You could put it in the fridge. That's the other benefit. Some people don't like drinking room temperature water. I personally like room temperature water. I find it easier to drink. Now, in terms of which one is right for you, I would say for everyday use, if you're just worried about your health, you wanna get rid of those microplastics, you don't want the mercury and the, all the other uh, heavy metals and contaminants in your water and you wanna make sure you're not getting any bacteria or viruses, I would just go with this. This is very affordable. It's under 100 bucks. I think these go for something about 79 bucks and then you could buy yourself some extra filters. Right now there is some inventory issues. You can get the complete systems, but there is a shortage of filters. So we will be taking back orders for filters, but you can still get the system and then with the system you get the filter. So you'll be able to use it for many months, if not over a year until you need to replace the actual filter. If you're somebody who is on the go, there's plenty of backpacking filtration options, but the great thing about a gravity system is that you let gravity do the work. When you're out camping, you don't wanna be burdened with having to pump stuff from the river or drink from a life straw. It's great to just be able to pour water in here and then just drink it, you know, once it's filtered out. So this top part actually nests inside the bottom here. So it's not that big, but, it's also you know, bigger than a lot of other filters like a life straw. However, you're still gonna need your container. So that's something to consider with a life straw. I mean, how many times a day do you wanna get up to have to go and drink from the stream? Now, with the bigger systems like this, there's actually three sockets in there. So you don't have to use all three if you just wanna use one filter with it, or you can use three. The more filters you use, that's going to increase the flow rate and it's also going to increase the overall lifespan of the filters. So when you buy the big system, you get the lid, you get the upper container, you get the lower container. Of course, inside you have your G2.0 filter. You have your stainless steel spigot, there's stainless steel washers, 
There's food grade silicon washers inside and a steel nut on the other side. And then of course there's a non-slip pad underneath. And then you also get this stand as well. You don't need the stand, you can hang it over the edge of the counter, but it does make it easier to fill a glass. So one of the things that Pro One recommends you do right when you get your system is you scrub the filter and run a couple of cycles of water through it. They recommend this to optimize for taste. So this is not necessary to filter out contaminants. So you can see here there's a plastic wing nut and a food grade silicon washer. And you can torque down on that pretty good, but you certainly don't want to over torque because of course these are plastic threads. But I find with these compared with the competitors, you can safely torque up on it a lot more without running the risk of potentially damaging a thread. And of course, if you do that, then you're gonna get all that contamination seeping in from the top into the bottom. Another great thing about this is made in America, or should I say assembled in America, because we know with the global supply chain, there's going to be components of anything that are imported in, but it is assembled here in North America. So my friends, I think, this is probably one of the best systems that we've ever reviewed on the channel. I would strongly encourage you to pick one up. Right now we have a very limited supply in stock. You can get one through the link in the description. Use coupon code survival prepper for 10% off. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Can anybody prepper out? The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code prepping gear for 10% off. Don't forget the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.